The cases of COVID in kids specifically are surging. They're making up almost a quarter of Friday's numbers across Kentucky alone. Brooke is downtown this morning where Brooke, our hospital systems are in overdrive trying to keep up with this. Yes, Robin, of course, Norton Children's Hospital being one of them that sees a number of our kids coming in. And right now they are saying that they are seeing the most pediatric cases of COVID they have ever seen at one time. Just this weekend, at least nine kids coming in and being treated for COVID, a number of them under the age of 12, meaning they did not have a chance to get the vaccine yet. We did speak with one local mother. Her name is Danielle Nelson. Her entire family got hit with COVID, including both her two boys, both under the age of 12. It started with a headache and a fever, and then the coughs began. And luckily, her son, she said, recovered quickly. Danielle is at home on quarantine, but her husband's still at Baptist Health, recovering from respiratory failure. But between her two kids that were not eligible, and she and her husband, no one had been vaccinated. The doctor came in and told me it was a positive COVID. I mean, honestly, I'll be honest, I got upset. And not like sad upset. I was mad. Because COVID has consumed us in a sense, consumed the world in a sense. Doctors are now pleading with Kentuckians to get vaccinated if you're eligible, warning that hospitals will be overwhelmed if they aren't already. Overall in Kentucky, pediatric cases have made up about 16% of the total COVID cases in Indiana. That number is closer to 11%, Rob. Okay, so Brooke, we're obviously seeing this increase in COVID cases among kids, but adding to that, we're now seeing RSV spreading as well. The symptoms between the two can seem similar at first glance. So do you have any tips for parents on what they should be watching for? Right, I've been getting the letters from our, our preschool often now with RSV cases. They mention runny nose, fever, and cough. Those are three symptoms that really could go either way with both RSV and COVID, but there are some characteristics that would distinguish if it's with RSV, especially COVID-19, they often have mild symptoms or maybe none at all, while kids with RSV have more noticeable ones, including appetite loss, sneezing, trouble breathing, and crankiness. In some rare cases, RSV can also lead to more serious problems like bronchiolitis and pneumonia. Experts say you should call your child's doctor if you notice a high-pitched whistling or wheezing noise when they breathe, a cough with yellow, green, or gray mucus, or if they refuse to breastfeed or bottle feed for our little ones. They say all in all, when it comes down to it, you need to practice that good hygiene with your kids. And no matter their age, if they're not feeling well, do not send them to school. All right. Important to remember. Thank you, Brooke.